Well, our project today is uh, turning an RT613 that came out of number 71 truck into an RTO613. And um, it's a pretty straightforward change. If you, uh, if you buy these transmissions rebuilt, it costs you $1,000 extra uh, to get an RTO. And the only difference is uh, these two gears right here, that sliding dog, and then changing these gears right here around on the counter shaft. Uh, the normal counter shaft goes smaller, bigger, 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 biggest. Um, but what you're doing is you're changing the ratio here. Um, and these gears are only about $175 from, uh, from Eaton. And then you get a rebuild kit, which is all the bearings, gaskets, and seals, and some of the snap rings. It's about $500. And basically, you have a rebuilt transmission. As long as you don't let the gears um, go out, by letting the bearings go and the counter shafts walk away from the through shaft right here, um, you uh, you can rebuild your transmission for about you know five six hundred dollars and then a day's labor or a couple of days labor whatever take it apart and clean and put it back together. Um, but uh, you can uh, get online. Eaton has a really good website, EatonRoadRanger.com, and go to literature, and you can download for free. Um, all of these manuals and parts books and uh, it's a little tricky to download it and print it and get it like a book where you've got um, you've got your pages uh, sequential um, what I did is I, I put all pages and listed it on the printer as, uh, as um, all pages odd and then took the same pages flipped them around put them back in the printer and then print all pages even in it it ended up making a book. I, I won't tell you how many times I had to do it to get it right. But there's all your gear ratios. And see what you lose um, on your bottom. As far as your, your, your first low, which is 18 to 1. Your first low on the RTO is 14.5, which is like almost like second. But where your top gear is 1 to 1, on the 613, on the uh, RTO 613, it's 0.80 overdrive, so it effectively lowers my rear end ratio from a 538 to a 433, which um, even if you don't, uh, even if you don't use the overdrive loaded, you can you can use it unloaded, because direct is still going to be in the same position on the shifter, um, right there that puts direct through the through shaft. Um, replace those two gears in. Uh, you can see my sliding dogs here are in good shape, and that's people talk about shifting without a clutch, but you can see there's there's not much much wear on those. Um, there's a brand new one, so you can see it doesn't look much different. Okay, but the one gear in here I did replace is this one right back here. Be, this is the dog between intermediate and direct. This is the one gear that I don't have any control over when I'm shifting of how it shifts because it's air shifted by the transmission and you can see how how cut up the gears are here so you know people can talk all they want about shifting without a clutch but uh there's there's an example of shifting without a clutch and then what happens when the transmission shifts itself um, there's a synchronizer back here which I replaced but I had to replace that gear um, because of the wear on it. But anyway, we're going to get this thing put back together. And um, the shift position, the shift pattern is a little bit different with the RTO. Um, you, you flop these two around because direct is still right here, which would be high gear. And you shift, uh, you know, uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Eighth in a normal, but this one you shift fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and then ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, and uh, you can buy for about thirty dollars. You can buy the the gear shift with the um, with the pattern on it and the stickers and all that kind of stuff to change it around. Because intermediate or um, direct is still in this position. You just get an overdrive up against the dash. But um, we'll. Uh, Fixing to put the cover back on here. I thought I'd make a video before um, before I did that, so you could still see, you know, the, the through shaft 
and all the gears and everything and you see the timing marks and stuff in there we have to time these timing marks back here and up inside there but anyway that's the um that's the project for today people make a big deal out of a transmission but you know there's nothing to it you just take it apart keep everything in order of course if you've done it a few times you you learn what everything is and you learn what it looks like and uh, if you make a mistake and you got to take it back apart to uh to re rectify the mistake um, that's a good lesson. You won't make that same mistake again because it's extra work for you to have to do it. But um, we'll do a little video of uh, putting the transmission back in the truck when we get it together. But anyway, it's about time to um, to get back to work. Um, hope you enjoyed it.